today's video, we're going to see what stuff we can burn or melt through with a road flare. Road flares are pretty cool, guys. Road flares burn, well, they ignite at about 375 degrees Fahrenheit, but they can burn up to, if I remember correctly, with 1600 degrees Celsius, which equals about 2900 degrees Fahrenheit. Here's the basic idea. We've got some emergency road flares that we're going to be using for some not so emergency purposes. We want to see how hot they burn and what they can burn or melt their way through. Can we get through steel? Now, all road flares are probably not created equal, and we don't know the exact burning temperature of the brand we have. This is just the things that they carry at Walmart. But we do want to do some tests. We want to see what we can light on fire and burn with these because it's fun. Um, I actually like to take a couple of these camping. There's so many ways to, like, tricks and tips and ways to light fires and stuff like that. By far the easiest way, you don't need to deal with tinder or kindling. You stack up a bunch of wood, you light the road flare, and just set it in there. And it's, you're done. Your fire will lit, be lit, it'll be burning. It doesn't matter if the wood's a little bit wet. At all. It's gonna be burning. Like, this puts out enough heat for long enough, it's going to get the wood started. <laughs> oh, First no. up, easiest to burn, I think. We've got just a candle. This is from Walmart. It's raspberry ice scented. Not bad. And I want to test a couple things. First, I want to see how quickly I can light the candle with the flare or if it's just going to be like, have too much force and be blowing it out as it lights it. And after that, I'm actually just going to leave the flare like pointed at it. I assume it will shatter the glass and then I just want to see what it does to just blasting the wax with that much heat. It's going to ignite the wax. It's very possible. Wax has a flash point. I assume that will happen and I am looking forward to it. Okay. For those unfamiliar with flares, they work a lot the same as a match. This is like the head of the match, and this is like the striker on the box. So this cap is on the flare. Take that, and then you strike it. It'll start burning a lot like a match, and then it'll hit all of the flammable materials inside the flare. So I'm going to get it lit, but I'm going to see if I can light the candle with it. There it goes. All right. Flare is going. All right. Let's see if I can light our candle. It might be too much force, honestly. It might be. There oh, you go. I got two of them. And oh, you put them and out. And blow them out. Yes. Okay. All right. Let's see if that'll shatter the glass. Let's see what it does to the wax. Frankly, I'm surprised it survived this long. Yep. I guess a lot of the heat is going into the wax itself. And I don't think the flare is at its full burning potential yet. Like you can see now, maybe it's just starting to burn through the side. I think that's about where it starts picking up a little bit even. It's cracked. There's wax leaking okay. out. Okay. It just hasn't like all shattered. Can't. Well, oh, there we go. There it is. Yep, it smells like raspberry and fire. Raspberry flare, my favorite. These flares are designed to burn for 15 or 20 minutes. Oh, 15, it says right there. So while we're just letting that continue to burn our way a candle, I want to do a test of how long it takes to light a two by four on fire. All right, getting that red color now. I think that's the actual burning of the flare. So let's see how long this takes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You're on fire, hmm. and you're out. That was partly on fire. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. After about 20 seconds, it definitely is burning. It doesn't keep itself burning terribly well, but it was definitely burning. After about 30 seconds, and it's keeping itself burning noticeably longer, still going. Okay, that's, so I'm gonna say that right there. That's on fire. 30 seconds, and we got this thing to catch on fire to the point where it's staying burning. I bet it will go out, but it was staying burning for a bit there. In fact, it's still going. Hasn't quite gone out yet. All right, well, you've lit a piece of wood on fire. I'm curious about something else. So I wanted to originally try like a stack of coins on top of one of these flares, but it puts out too much force to actually keep anything stacked on top of it. So what Nate suggested, we actually just have a crucible here that we've used in our foundry, and I have a pile of, whoops, pennies. Now, modern pennies are a thin layer of copper on the outside, but they're actually full of zinc, and zinc We've done a few experiments before in the past. I don't know if you've ever done a video of it. I know we've done some little Instagram stories of it, 
but we've melted pennies on the stove. And what happens is that the copper outside gets very, very soft and the zinc will seep out. So I want to see if we can get a similar result in our little uh, crucible here with just a flare sticking out of it. While Callie is getting her coins set up, we've tested and managed to light our 2x4 on fire. It lit on about 10 seconds, really lit, so it kept itself burning in about 30. Now I'm curious what will happen if we take a burning flare and throw it at a concrete wall. <laughs> hmm, some sparks, and I Did think it went out. put it out? I think everything that was burning came dislodged and fell out. Interesting. So we have our little crucible full of pennies. I'm just gonna light this, stick it in it, and we'll come back in a couple minutes and see what it's done. Careful with the twirling. <laughs> okay. Oh! Oh! Zinc! That's liquid metal right there. I would say proof positive of melted coin. How many coins did you put in? Handful. So most of it may not have melted, but some of it absolutely did. I think it did. I think it's just got that cap of everything else on top of it right now. Well, I have, I think, a different method of trying to make liquid metal. I've just got an aluminum bar. Okay. From Home Depot. And this one is not gonna be in a cup. It's just gonna be sitting there flat. Nice. So it'll be much easier to point a flare at it. So we had our flare on our bar for five, eight minutes, and it was getting very hot. I'm holding it down here because right here is too hot to hold. Uh, the whole bar has been heating up. Aluminum is very heat conductive, and this is just open to the air. So I think too much heat is able to escape to really concentrate. So I think now what we're gonna try is having two flares, one on either side of the metal, to really give us the best chance of getting it to melt without dispersing the heat everywhere so much. We're not going to give it a chance at all. That should do it. I imagine so, but we'll find out. Oh, it actually cut it in Good, half. good, yes, good. Well, that's cool. So we gave it like eight minutes before and nothing, and then like one minute with both flares on it and melted a line basically right through it. I love that result. Me too. And now, I want to try it with steel. Okay. So I think we can just uh, keep using these same two flares. Yep. We've, now this is a very thin sheet of steel. I'm giving us the, sort of our best chance here. But same thing, I'm just gonna take the flare, set it pointed right there at the steel. I might need a stick or something to rest it on to hold it at the right angle. You can see right there, we have managed to burn a hole through this sheet of steel. It's not a big hole. I bet it would have been more if we had been more attentive. So as the flares burn away, obviously the, the heat moves away from the plate. But we got it to burn. We, we got it. a hole punched through this sheet of steel. That's pretty impressive. I like it. I want to see if we can do some significant damage to this wrench. And instead of just using two flares, I think we're going to set it up so we have like six. The rest of them, Flare. the well, length a lot, of it. A lot of flares. We're just gonna see how much damage we can do just pointing them all over this thing. <laughs> what have we done? Well, we melted a lot of uh, strontium stuff onto our wrench. I don't think we managed to melt it. I was hoping it would melt. Oh, that's getting hot to hold on to. Well, you've done something to it's it. It's not happy. So we were able to melt through our thin sheet of steel, but even with about eight flares pointed at this wrench, it proved a bit too much for us. Maybe if we had all eight in a closed container or something like that, there holding in all of the heat. But for the most part, it's still here. So point to the wrench, I suppose. 
That's it for today, but we've always got more cool stuff coming out. Click that button right there to subscribe so you never miss out on a video, and we'll see you in the next one. Talk to you then.